because he's quite uh, this thing about you. Just put it in the chain here. Have a. Do you want someone? He's not eating, he's cold. Someone else is talking to you. No, no. What happened? You're not hungry? You're not hungry? <laughs> that one's actually a therapy dog. Mm -hmm. Do you believe he's, uh, she's 16 too? She's 16? No, no, 6. 6? Oh, she's 6. 6, sorry, sorry. 16 is a good full That's life. a good full But actually poodles can live, I was told, up to 9. Yeah, the smaller breeds live uh, long. Not long, oh, yeah, they do, but not that. Like usually you see 12. Uh, yeah, but you know, everyone comes to their own. Yeah. See your nutrition throughout, yeah. exercise yeah. regime, hygiene. Your anatomy, genetics, there's just so much. I think also exactly. your environment, if they're like, you know, comfortable and I feel like some of them die out of house dogs cleanliness and, you know, they also die out of yeah. A lot of them die out of No Okay, okay, thing. enough. Recently endeavor to work towards the best interest of animals, as you all know, right? That's our objective, that's our motto, that's what we, what we do. And giving back to the society basically and the voiceless in a voiceless way is how we express our gratitude. We've always expressed our gratitude and rules like that. Uh, we have a very special person today with us, Seema Sachde, a personality with empowering combination of qualities. Uh, besides being a famous fashion designer and a reality show star, she's also an entrepreneur who's set to uh, launch her own label, Y. Awesome, that's pretty cool. Uh, streetwear. I, yeah, that's streetwear. Okay, it's called Y. Why is it called Y? You have a logic to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a it's a lengthy explanation. Okay, fine. We'll we'll, uh -huh. we'll come back to that. Yeah, we're here day. for the doggies. <laughs> so Seema has carved a niche for herself in the entertainment industry as well as her appearance in the famous Netflix series called Fabulous Lives of Bollywood Wives. Uh, thank you so much, Seema, for being here with us Thanks. today and taking a part of, in this initiative with us. I love it. Um, Seema's love for animals has always been evident uh, as she continues to create awareness on pet welfare and wellness. We're extremely delighted to have her on board with us today on this journey that Jules has and we admire her for her dedication to the cause. Let's have a round of applause for her. Thank you. Thank you guys. So Jules Asima is basically collaborating with you as yeah. you're aware of it and uh, we'll be donating about three months worth yeah. of pet food to World for All Animal Care uh, Center. They are working towards uh, you know, uh, uh, the adoption, fostering, rescue. Uh, medical treatment, rehabilitation of street animals, and your inception was in 2009. Right, yeah, yeah, it's been wow, it's so been a long long road. It's been a long road. It's been a long journey. So yeah. hats off to you for you know the consistency, I should say. Thank you. Because we all try, but we yeah. all give up at some point yeah. because it's not easy. It's at not all. easy to do this. But right? that's one easy. thing you learn from the animals. You know, they so you have uh, <laughs> us with little little problems, and then they have like here we get animals without a hand, without a leg. Yeah. And they don't give up, and that's where we can be inspired from and learn. Absolutely, you know, I think animals inspire us in so many ways. So many anyway, ways, right? really. They so teach us. They've got so much to teach us, really. So uh, you're running this awareness uh, and education program specifically for the care and safety of stray animals. Ah, true. And yes. your mission is to inspire coexistence between stray animals and the people of Bombay. Is that correct? Absolutely. Right. And your whole process is by finding love, homes for the helpless ones. That's absolutely sweet and adorable and creating compassion basically, tolerance and humanity for those who are on the streets. So let's have a huge round of applause for them as well. Thank you. Uh, I'm clearly sandwiched between two very influential uh, people and one in front of me is holding, wearing a t-shirt which says influence. So a lot of influence around me. So we hope, sir, that our contribution of three months worth of pet food together with Seema will contribute to your efforts to make the world a happy and a healthier place for the voiceless people. Absolutely. Food is a is a yeah. it's a, is must. a must. It's a good mean and healthy, lovely food like this. Nutrition is for them exactly. is they need it. And what I really love is that y'all y'all have come by, taken the effort to come by, meet them, spend time with them and bond with them. It makes all the difference. Look at how happy and excited all the dogs yeah, are. I know. You know, so sweet. It's a day out for them and a day out for us. So Seema, thank you so much. Thank you. I just want to say that I uh, yes, I am a animal lover. I'm a dog lover. I have grown up with dogs. I don't think I don't remember a time in my life when I've not had 
dogs have not had puppies and i have to say that if you're blessed to have a puppy a, a dog a pet they teach you unconditional love you can actually the the meaning of love you can only actually understand from a pet that loyalty that love that you get when you come home it nothing compares to it like really nothing can compare to it and i think for every child today most importantly uh, what a what a pet teaches you is empathy and i think empathy is the need of the hour today in today's world that we live in and i think that the empathy that we learn from a pet you you can't compare compare that to being taught anywhere else so today i'm here with jules i'm completely i align with the brand they have been tirelessly working towards uh, the welfare of animals through all their different initiatives and today's campaign is all about donating 3 months of food nutrition and health for these lovely animals voiceless homeless strays and i just i would like all animals out animal lovers out there to come and join us in this endeavor and make this world a better place for these voiceless really lovable beings absolutely thank you thank so you. much you know it's um i think we all we all do love animals clearly yeah. we all do a bit but um sometimes i think the objective of being here and talking to all you people is so that we kind of like uh maybe give you a push to do your bit she's doing her bit just a reminder it's, it's like just a, a reminder. yeah just a reminder i know everyone gets caught up in life and you know life gets in the way but really honestly i think this is something that's it's just amazing just look at them yeah i mean i i i have nothing to say there's so much they have to they can express also and they feel also and i think unless you're not on that you know you don't understand when you have a pet you understand so much more about even about life they teach you like simple things love and empathy being at the top most absolutely well said sima thank you so much thank you so uh, should we go ahead and uh, is there a check so we yes. want then i'm happy to be feeding activity sorry we can do a feeding activity oh, yeah. sure. yeah. so let's go i i i think so i think we're going to be safe we'll take care can we get uh, food uh, we will use a uh, you know gravy only because you know it's too hot so yeah. Yeah. it's it's easier for them to get the gravy food why is he limping so yes. all the animals here come he is under treatment they all come in jot they all come uh, with grave accidents Uh, we have two programs running out of here. One is a sterilization program. So there are some healthy dogs that get uh, spayed, neutered, and then released. Uh, so they don't release as treaties only, or you as get them at all? See, if they come, we always try to find the feeder. If yeah. they get completely all right, you know, if they're back on their fours, then we try to release them in the area, find people to feed them, take care of right. them there. But if they're handicapped and things, of course, we either keep them at a permanent shelter, which is called the probably paradise in Karachat. or we try to find homes for them but right. not everyone is as fortunate right. you know right yes well, i think the the effort is to make sure we yeah. do your best and all that we can do is do your best and you're really really but they look definitely. really happy only thanks yeah. to the kind support yeah. they really do look very happy it is home for them That's the thing. It's always nicer to. I've been to a lot of places where they're all caged and things, but you know, this is this little place where they can at least have their freedom, yeah. live out their personalities. And they do really come with very distinct personalities. Every, but I have yeah. two, and I just, I, like I said, I just lost one. But they have such distinct personality. I feel they, they imbibe some of yours along the way. You know, that's very true. They do. They yeah. kind of imbibe a lot of your own personality. So you know, I mean. I've never really understood till I lost. I mean, I've had dogs my whole life, but this one was special. So I, I'm feeling When a bit more special. Or... Ten days ago. No way. And sixteen-year-old so means you've lived a lifetime with her. I wouldn't have. I was traveling. I wouldn't have. I didn't want to let her go, but quite frankly, it was. I, I mean, it was the right thing to do because she was in so much pain. Yeah. And they yeah. can't. They can't. You know, when when an animal animals can't communicate and talk to you, but you can see it in their eyes. Yes. Sixteen <coughs> years. 16 years she seen she's a toy she's a toy boy boy poodle so cute anyway you feel just like such fragile ones you know the body of said animals always uh, replicate the they do she had to them they'll be loving yeah, to you, you know? she has totally she's a, like i'm telling you she understood everything she was a diva she got 
she had so much of my personality she would give it back to me only <laughs> Chalo, ta, ta. Should she be sitting here or uh, you? No, we'll just put it. I'll ask. We'll uh, put one. Let her put the whole down. Yeah, down. Yeah. Give me now. Ah, uh, basically English. Hindi, English. Yeah, I'd I'd like to say that I'm completely overwhelmed. Not, oh, I mean, I'm I'm completely like in awe of what is going on here. As in this this shelter world for all, it's something. It's such a good deed. They say do good deeds, but it's such a selfless thing to do for these animals because you know animals are such gentle. Actually, they're voiceless. They can't speak for themselves. But and to see them in this condition, it breaks my heart. Honestly, and it's, I'm feeling it's it's a privilege to be here, to be a part of this, to actually contribute, and to be aligned with Jules, which I think is doing such an amazing job. I'm lonely. Do you have a pet? I do. I've always had pets. I've grown up with dogs. Two of them. Now uh, my mother has three. I have two. I just lost one ten days ago. So this is a a little bit more emotional for me than it would be. But because I know what they, you know, like what they go through. I feel pets can, like I said, they they teach you empathy. Like for a child growing up with a pet, it teaches you empathy that no school and no nobody else can teach. We are pet teaching their loyalty, their love. It's fun. They teach you the meaning of love. It's unconditional love, and it's so weird. Like I'm asthmatic, so as you can see, I can't really, you know, their, their saliva kind of gives me hives. But I have uh, my dogs. They actually understand when I talk to them. I think they understand everything. They know when you're down. They know when you're happy. They, they, when you're not well, they also take on your stress. You know, they get sick. When they get sick, they say they take on their owner's stress. I, I completely like. I'm, uh, I'm an animal lover. I'm a dog lover. Um, I'm making the hair another one. To be honest, I, I'm really, honestly, right now feeling very emotional about all the halat of these dogs. It's very sad. It's very sad, and I'm glad that you know this is a small contribution towards millions of strays and homeless. But you know, I think if everyone puts their foot forward and makes a small contribution, it's a drop in the ocean. But Still, it's towards the well-being of these voiceless animals. Really, they deserve it. I think way to go. Indians are like we're anyway on the map, but I think it's amazing, and I think it's uh, completely well deserved. Are you going to see many more surprises from your side? Any more projects? Okay. Uh, more projects. I'm, I'm currently doing. I'm working on my own brand, and I'm also uh, doing fabulous life with Bollywood wife. So you have to stay tuned for that one. Okay. The last message to all the animal lovers. Uh, I just like to say that you know what what we are doing and what Jules is doing here today, and I'm. Uh, you know, I completely align with them, and I'm. It's a privilege to be a part of this campaign, and I think for all animal lovers out there, if everyone does like even a little tiny bit, you know, to help these animals, we are providing nutrition in any form or any which way. Anyone to help these animals in any small way, I think it it can it will contribute. They say now nah, that every drop makes a difference. The more people that come out to support. Yeah, it is, and they deserve it. They do really it. Thank you. Just like streetwear these days is very fashionable. Being compassionate towards our street animals is also very trendy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.